And, you know, there are a lot of reasons and a lot of people who decide to give back. For Robert Wilson, he says it was helping others that gave his life purpose. So there'll be 16 turkeys just to, yeah. Robert Wilson has traveled a very rough road. Cooking was the only thing that kept a part of him in the real world. Well, I spent most of my life in drug, alcohol and drug abuse, and uh, I've always been in, in upscale fine dining. It was in the kitchen where Robert found peace and a sense of responsibility. At 18, Robert began working in fine restaurants, but he was still haunted by addiction. He drank himself homeless and was living in his car. I'd reached my bottom, and I'd lost another, yet another job, and I just, I fell to my knees. I had decided to drink myself to death, and I, I had a moment of clarity, or an angel, or whatever you call it, get me off the floor and get me into a detox center. And from the detox center, I came to the Stevens Center. Robert happened to show up at the Stevens Center when the cook just stopped coming to work. People here say he was the answer to their prayers. For Robert, the new job might have saved his life. The Stevens Center has given me an, uh, a life that I never thought I could have in sobriety. It, it, it fills my heart with joy to be able to do it. You know, I, I love the look on somebody's face when they taste my food and they smile and go, wow, that's really good. Now three years sober and the kitchen manager at the Stevens Center, Robert is preparing for Thanksgiving. He expects 200 to 250 people for dinner. He's thankful to serve them and he's thankful for his story. I'm thankful for the Stevens Center and my sobriety and the opportunity to give back to people because I was once here and now I can share my story with other people and give them hope. With photographer Mike Plews, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News.